Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, May 31st. Uh, just getting you caught up to speed with what's going on in my world. I have got an axe Cerakoted. This is the first time I've done a metallic finish. This is the Cerakote metallic bronze or copper. I forgot. I feel bad for not knowing now. Um, but came out very well. We'll be calling our guy George, having him come uh, pick it up, take a look. And then I will be on to a machete reefer. I will be cleaning this up, getting it ready for handle. I need to look at the paper to see what's on there. Um, but that will be the majority of my day. Hopefully we get a heat treat in this week. Still got construction going on in the front. So if you're paying attention to any of our social media, go ahead and take a look at what's going on. A lot of cool stuff. We'll be going in there shortly once it's built um, and kind of showing you as, as we uh, do step-by-step -step progress. Other than that, guys, that'll be the main part of my day. We've got some cool stuff to show you in the showroom. So without further ado, let's go. What's up, buddy? Yo, yo. What do we got today? Today we got some uh, little sneak peek at some hog knives, what you'll be able to see in the showroom. Ooh. That's uh, the littlest of them. I guess I'm just going in size order. Yep. I don't know. We got some cool OTS from these guys. So this is an American company over in, uh, they're in California right now. They're moving to Nevada. Really cool family owned for about 50 years. Started out making gun grips. Now they make really high quality knives and we have a big batch of their automatics this is one of my favorites really cool oh, it's kind of classy otf nice but we also got in some really cool handle material right on so now we've got some hybrids from our favorite hybrid makers aao um they just do a great amount of cool hybrids so as you see there, we'll give you a little sneak peek. But now we're going to be testing some of the 3D printed honeycomb into their hybrids. So really excited for a bunch of this stuff. Once again, if, you, if you're a custom guy and you like customs, snag this before they go or we put them on knives ourselves. Uh, other than that, guys, we're going to wrap that up. Uh, Want to get a, give a shout out to Hope Knives. Who's the guy, your guy over at Hope? Well, we got Robert, we got Justin, we got Gary, we got my dude. So the whole crew, really, really appreciative, uh, treating Nico really well this weekend. Uh, had them hanging out and giving him a bunch of information. We're really happy to have these guys as another brand to go on into Serenity Knives. This is going to be part of the growth that goes into the new showroom. So we're super excited for that. Thank you again, guys, uh, over there at Ho. We appreciate you treating Nico really well and uh, look forward to getting more from you guys. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care, y'all. Happy June, everybody. It is Wednesday, June 1st, and what I will be doing today is finishing up some grind lines on some massive barbecue slicers. Uh, we only have one in the showroom right now, and it's one more of the more traditional ones like this. I need to get some of the nice, big bellied, uh, wicked point barbecue slicers in stock, so working on these because we are doing a heat treat tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow? tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow's Thursday. Uh, so tomorrow we're doing a heat treat. So I want to have these four beasts ready. Uh, the other thing I will be doing today is we got Magna Cut in. So this is a steel we have not previously worked in, but we're doing it for a regular customer of ours. He wanted uh, a Magna Cut uh, knife. So we're going to do it. We're going to do a, a batch of, I think it's 24 knives um, and set it off to Peter's heat treating because this is a steel we cannot heat treat in house. It needs an atmospheric forge and cryogenic, uh, all this stuff that I just don't want to do. And, or we don't have the ability to do, especially with the atmospheric forge. Those things are expensive. So Peter's does a great job. They did my Z Finite and the S35V. I can't remember the other steels they did for us, but they did a great job. M4. M4. They did the M. Thank you, Daniel. They did the M4 and the uh, Z Finite. So uh, we're gonna get on the phone with him and see his recommended thinness and how hard it is to grind afterwards. Um, so we will get the process started of profiling and drilling these. Uh, some of them will, will be cut in half and we'll make two little paring knives because we need some paring knives in stock. Um, so this is something that we talked about doing randomly throughout the, the year of just 
getting a steal, doing a one-time run in it for the year, um, maybe stamping them something special. Um, so look forward to these to be completed uh, later on in the year. They, this will not be a quick process because they run about three months uh, backlog for their heat treat, um, plus you know our backlog. So we're gonna get them started now and see how long it takes to, to get it all done and see what they recommend for thinness pre-heat treat. So really, that's my day. Oh, we have one other update, but we'll show you the, the, the new sharpening vehicle later on. Uh, I need to walk out to it. So that is what one of the things I did yesterday on my day off. We picked up a new sharpening vehicle. I'll show you that in a bit. But here's Daniel with what he's got going on. Good morning, everyone. Uh, just get caught. Get, yeah, bear. Get, 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 get. Just to get you caught up to speed with what's going on in my world. Um, yesterday, I totally forgot that I had a, a rehandle come in Saturday. Well, not come in Saturday, but I had it had the handle material come in from it for it Try from again. AAO and uh, God, this is a horrible morning for me from AAO and basically got working on that and glued up Saturday came into it Tuesday forgot to tell you guys but I've got it all finished up so beautiful AAO hybrid once again from our guys over at AAO if you guys have any uh, looking looking for any hybrids Definitely recommend them. They are so super great. Love uh, our person Amy over there. She's just awesome. Every time we have a custom order in there. But here we go. This is the the rehandled knife. Um, that is all taken care of. And then I do need to work on the machete. So I'm gonna try and throw this in the sandblaster today to at least clean up this tang. As you can see, there's a good chunk of rust. Get things cleaned up so that way we can get a new handle ready for it. And if I get a couple minutes, I will try and rehandle this razor. Now I know that doesn't look like it, but there it is right there. This is the old scales that are falling apart, which is why it's wrapped in blue tape. But I have two piece, two different sets of uh, walnut that I'll be looking at trying to see which one will do the best. They're not exact uh ready to go they still need some drilling and russell and i noticed that they were a little off so i'm going to be doing a little bit more fitment on it it's okay something i'm, I'm not uh too scared of uh, you know the, the little things that happen like this it happens so i can i can take care of it manage it and then we'll get the the razor nice and working again other than that we'll take on whatever comes in today uh nico is not in he is off because he had a great week last week. He helped us out with the convention that he was at. And also want to give him a great shout out for his birthday. Uh, love you, brother. Me and Russell, really happy with you. Thank you for being here. And I uh, hope you can continue on just rocking with what you've been doing. Uh, so anybody sees this, go ahead and comment down below. A little happy birthday for, for Nico, uh, our, our favorite guy uh, in the showroom because he's been able to take that on so well. And uh, that new showroom is gonna be a monster and you're gonna see him do the same thing with that. Other than that, y'all, Russell will take this camera once I shut off here, show you guys the new sharpening vehicle and pay attention to the social media because our uh, build up front also just keeps changing. So love for you guys to comment uh, below there. Love for you guys to do any kind of interaction with us. If you have any questions, make sure you're subscribing and interacting as much as you can and we'll try and get back to you. I'm going to wrap it up here. This is a long-winded Wednesday, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Okay, so new showroom update. So it is fully plyboarded in. It is not dried in yet because we don't have the house wrap or the siding on it or the windows in, but it is looking good. Super stoked. Oh, look at that. Just keeps going. Okay, and in other news, we have a new sharpening vehicle. This is our new NV200. Uh, so it's a great size, much smaller than, than the bus. Uh, and what this will allow us to do, uh, not that I know how to get into it, is to go to other places, smaller places, um, and be able to do more on-site sharpening. So things at restaurants, other other little pop-ups that happen uh, because this gets much better fuel economy than the bus. It's already got tie downs in for the grinder and other stuff. So today we will be getting some stuff moved over 
uh, from the bus into this and just start start figuring out a couple of little things about it. Um, and then it seems like we already have a buyer for the bus, so the bus will be leaving basically as soon as we get empty, which is super, super happy about that. So those are our two new little updates. Uh, see everybody tomorrow. Have a great one. Good morning, it's Thursday, June 2nd, and I finished what I wanted to and more yesterday. So these will be added to the heat treat pile, um, which I will start momentarily here. Uh, get these over and start the heat treat, and then I will be shaping the three Hanasukis. I still have not shaped uh, their handles from two weeks ago. I brought them down a little bit last week, but have not shaped them. So hope to get them up to hand sanding today. We did get the bus completely cleared out yesterday and all the new stuff or all the stuff we need for the markets is in the NV. Uh, not organized, no shelving or anything built. Uh, we'll kind of do that as we go along. Uh, we do need to figure out a ramp solution fairly quickly though. Um, so my day will be heat treating and shaping handles. Um, other than that, we'll see what happens. Here's Daniel with what he's got going on. Good morning, everyone. Just to get you caught up to speed with what's going on in my world, I have got the machete kind of cleaned up. Uh, got it sandblasted yesterday. Tang is nice and sandblasted. And I've got the olive drab green micarta scales. I know this doesn't really look like a green, but it will come out green as we uh, clean it up and sand it. Um, gonna try and get these onto the machete today. And then I will start my day out with this straight razor sharpening. As you can see, we got the walnut scales on them. Um, very, very pretty, elegant. Had to do a little drilling and some peening, but I got it taken care of. As you can see right there, that is where we peened that. Um, I'll be finishing up this sharpening, working on the machete, and whatever else comes my way is, is, uh, as well as helping Russell with whatever he needs on the heat treat. That will be the major part of my day. Uh, we've got nothing for you in the showroom, but our beloved Nico is back. So uh, another shout out to him on a great day off that he had for his birthday. Uh, we'll be celebrating eating some Gatlin's barbecue. If you haven't checked them out, they're on Top Chef this season. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up here and we'll see you guys on the next one. Two. Take care. Good morning, it's Friday, June 3rd, and yesterday I got the three Hanasukis ready for hand sanding, and I did an all-day heat treat, got it all done eventually. Uh, it took a bit, um, so it, it, they're just finishing tempering. Uh, we won't be working on those today, so I will figure out what today looks like um, once I get there, and I'm not quite there yet. Daniel did manage to get his stuff all ready for gluing, and he'll be getting that glued at the first thing uh he's dealing with a, a a little issue right now so you'll see him tomorrow uh we don't have anything new in the showroom so just me today have a great day we'll see you tomorrow you. bye good morning it is saturday june 4th and today i will be working on a big uh damascus chef's knife again so this is one of the the white number one damascus uh chef's knives that uh mike norris builds the damascus for and then we make the knife out of it. Um, so I'll be getting this up to where I can glue a handle on. I'm gonna do something super cool for the handle. Um, we're talking a little bit about it right now. And then I'll probably grab one of the smaller ones and do it as well because my wife made this really cool yellow resin and it's been calling my name. So I'll probably use this as either the ferrule or the body of the handle for uh, the, one of the Damascus ones. Um, maybe, we'll see. Uh, I might go with something a little higher end, but We'll see what I do on that. But I want to use it. It'll be on a knife or something. And I got two knives glued up. We'll show you those on Wednesday. I'm not probably not going to be working on them today. Um, and Nico will show you the other things that I got done yesterday. Here's Daniel with what he's got going on. Good morning, everyone. Just to get you up to speed with what's going on in my world, I have got into the small batch with this Skidde uh, custom that I'm working on. I've uh, got a bunch of small neck knives and small knives here, along with the skidoo. Um, and I got the machete glued up yesterday as promised. I will be doing a little bit both of working on the skidoo and the machete if I can get to it. Probably coming up with handles for these guys, uh, if not gluing up at the end of the day, if everything does go smooth. Usually Saturdays tend to be a little busy, so if that happens, no biggie, we'll take care of that. That will be the majority part of my day. Let's go ahead and go into the uh, showroom, show you what Nico's got for today. What's up, bud? Yo, yo, yo. 
So we got a couple of new handmaids going in stock today. We got a large hunter carry knife with this cool kind of G Carta scales. And then it also has this hybrid leather Kydex sheath. You can wear a cross draw on either side or you can just stick it through. It's pretty cool. And then we got this little cool little petty with the diamond netch on there with this really pretty uh, wand, like maple, sugar maple scales with my card pens. Really nice. digging this little guy. We're both in stock. They will be today by yeah, the time you'll see it. Awesome. So by the time you guys see this, that'll be in there. Uh, that's going to wrap up the week for us, guys. Thank you for paying attention. Make sure you're taking a look at what's going on construction-wise, and make sure you're subscribing, liking, commenting down below. Uh, we'll make sure we look at the comments to try and get back with you. If we've missed any interactions, we're sorry. Just keep bugging us, and we'll get to you when, when we do. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Peace.